Back Look on Access that. Hollywood Live with actor and comedian Cheech Marin. All right, where are you? In this Find little you. baseball picture. I'm right in the middle of the picture, the Dennis littlest Scott. guy. You know, that was my Granada Hills Little League baseball team. Because uh, I moved from South Central LA where everybody everybody was black, and then the next day everybody was white in Granada Hills. So how do how do I fit in? And I was always the littlest kid. So I was little in both ones, so that was kind of my little niche. Okay, how do I deal here, you know? So th you said in the book the first time you sort of experienced racism. Yeah, was in Granada Hills, you know? And yeah. so they, because they had never, there was a first influx of, of Mexicans a, into this little neighborhood, and they didn't know how to treat me, you know, but. How did they treat you? Oh, uh, my friends were my friends, and my enemies were, you know, they were dealt with. <laughs> <laughs> you went to um, Catholic school growing up. I did. And I think you learned a real life lesson there that you say, you know, for the most part, it shaped who you were. Oh, well, this, they yeah. didn't put up with that whitey blacky stuff. They just, corporal punishment. That was the deal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you walk into a class under a, a guy nailed to a cross, so you get the message right away, you oh, know, geez. how they're going to treat you. But and, you but thought about going into the priesthood? I did. Well, it was the family business, you know. Uh, several members of my family were priests and nuns and so yeah. And anybody that goes to Catholic school thinks about, being a priest or not, some because they drill it into you, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I, I did. I, I, I was on my way to the junior seminary in high school. And my clothes were there, and I started going to parties. And uh, no girls in the priesthood. I mean, let me rethink this one. You know. <laughs> Speaking of girls, is this true that Kate Middleton? asked you to dance. Why she did. Where were when? you and what? I was in my dreams. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was in uh, St. Uh, St. Andrews. I was doing a golf tournament with Don Johnson when I was working on Nash Bridges. We, we went and there was a big gala and William uh, had just started going. It was very public that he started going out with his girl. And so we were sitting there having our, our, our coffee after dinner and, and the uh, but dance band started up, you know, like, nobody danced. I said, oh, well. So the next N number that started up, I see this girl striding across the stage, man, and it's her. And Kate, she comes up to me and goes, "Let's go, it. man!" You know, this is so you're, good. You're not not gonna dance, you know. So I tried to do the best I could, you know. How was she? A great dancer? She was good. Yeah, she was sweet. I'm really, I'm just beautiful. I mean, she's like, yow, you know, beautiful girl. And uh, and then at the end of the dance, she walked me back to my chair and. Thank you very much. I was now the girl. You know? <laughs> You're one of very few, though, that has that honor. Yes. You danced with Roy. First of all, oh, how much do we oh love God. Kate Middleton? Goes right for yes. Cheech, you whips know. you out on the dance floor, time. takes you for a spin. She's only human. And delivers <laughs> you home right there. She knows a good time. <laughs> um, tell us about uh, competing on Celebrity Jeopardy. And you beat Anderson Cooper well, and a bunch of others. Yeah, I, well, I was with my cousins. We were academic little blue collar Chicano working class kids, but we were academics. We trained ourselves to be that. And we were this group and they shared information. And I was assigned in the group to learn about art. And so I did that. And uh, but we played some form of Jeopardy or College Bowl or mm -hmm. some kind of quiz program with each other since I was a little kid. Wow. So I couldn't wait to get on Jeopardy. And so I was the very first celebrity Jeopardy champion. And it Incredible. was a thrill beyond thrills, man, you know, because I, I dreamed about doing that all my life. And then it came true. And it was like, wow. Did no one see that coming? No, no. They were probably, I mean, Anders was probably like, Cheech, oh, yeah. You know, he, had, he had won before. And so this was on like on the second time. I think it was the Celebrity Million Dollar Challenge. And yeah. You win a million dollars. And, so, and he had won before. So he came in. And he, you know, sometimes you can get off track on that and it's your ass. And, uh, <laughs> and he, he was, uh, he, he didn't score any money on in, in the first round. He, he was in the dressing room like, Walking around in a daze, he couldn't. I, so, did you win the million dollars? Uh, no, I won the hundred fifty thousand nice. dollars. I made it to the end, but it, but it all goes to uh, the uh, Hispanic Scholarship Fund, you know. So, do you remember the question yeah. that won it for you? Uh, well, you know, it was the, in the first round. It was uh, admission dates of admission. Oh, states when they were admitted to the union and, and what state was, and they give you the years and the kind yeah. of stuff. And I had just been studying that as I pulled up into the parking lot with my cousin, because he was my mentor. And I knew the answer. That's crazy. <laughs> you know? I knew that, I knew that and, and everybody else didn't know the answer, and I won. Uh, great Smart to man. see you. Message for Chong as we go out, since he sent you one. Hey, I'll, I'll, uh, where am I? Over there. Hey, I'll see you Saturday, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Cheech is Wrong not my real again. name, but don't call me Chong is available right now.